Right, so Celtic are back in action uh, later this evening. We travel to Kilmarnock Rugby Park, a ground that's uh, held some very good memories for us over the year, probably yep. mainly good memories. There have been a couple of bad ones. Um, one when we actually lost the league despite winning. Uh, winning for nothing. Yeah, I don't know I if that I was there old, as an older, or the Age oldest guy. Then, give us a laugh. Uh, I'm not going to say. What were you, like 15 or something? Mm, well, something like that. I think I was like, what year was that, 2004? 2003. I was seven years old, mm. about that. Or six, maybe six or seven. Well, on the way back, we get caught, and the Celtic bus would get caught in the trap. It was a Rangers fans coming back to Fairbrook, so they'd, they'd won the league that day, but we were defiant because we knew the went, good times we were knew good teams were coming, and we won the league the next year by like 20 points or and something. We knew nine in a row would, or eight in a row, hopefully, nine and ten in a row would come around. When it would come later. 15 years later, right? Exactly. <laughs> right, so on, on that wee tangent, we're talking about um, famous. I want to say wins at Rugby Park, although there is a wee caveat there. John will come yep. on to that probably later on. You can probably, if you're thinking back, remember the one he's talking about. Um, but fam- famous games, we'll call it a Rugby Park then from a Celtic point of view. Yep. Uh, obviously with tonight's game in mind, it's uh, it's a ground I quite like. It's Kilmarnock are my local team, living in Ayrshire. Um, well, Ayr are my local team, but Kilmarnock right. are my top flight local team. So it's a, a game I've been to loads of games at Rugby Park. I think it's a great stadium. Obviously, we're only getting the one stand nowadays. As, as I know, that's unfortunate. Compared to the two in the past. But loads of good memories there. Well, start, start us off with one of them. I was going to mention the most recent one. Well, yeah. I think Because we've not played there this no, year, have we not? No, a year well, ago. Well, a year, a year, about this time a year ago. February. Eh? February. Brendan Rodgers' last away game, in, domestic away game in charge of Celtic. Come on up now, Celtic won. When uh, I was there, one of the I think one of the two away games I went to last season. Scott Brown won the league at Rugby Park. He did. It was a, uh, and I was at was at the end. That was uh, sitting in that stand as well, where we scored, and it was bedlam, as I say. I was I was at the game. I was reporting on it from one of the Kelly stands, and I maintain to this day that that is the the best away support, the best season oh, I've ever was seen. That was fantastic. It was they obviously scored in like ninety one or ninety two minutes, mm. and then. After the game, for about five or ten minutes, the fans, everyone stayed in the ground. Oh, and, you know, the, the team went to both ends and, and did the what do you call it? Do, 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 and uh, the atmosphere that. was was absolutely amazing. And it was it obviously wasn't the one that gave us the league title, but it was so, uh, it was the the day that I think Rangers had dropped points the day before, and there was a uh, feeling that I think we went like nine or ten clear at that stage, and there was a, six or something. Was it? There was a feeling anyway that we were well clear. I uh, I mean it was a. This was shocking, but it was a terrible performance. As yeah, a lot, away, ga- a lot well. of away games under Brendan Rodgers last season were, and the second half of the season. That like was ever. obviously Kelly under Steve Clark. Kelly under well. Steve Clark, who were a good team. But we, we hadn't won there, I don't think, when he was there. No, we beat 2 Twice. 1 like, earlier in the season. And 1 now the year before. 1 now the year before. Uh, we struggled to create really any chances. Uh, I think Chris did a header that went just, just sort wide of wide. On. Went, went wide. And just remember that the fans were getting, getting any panic because there was a fear that we were going to drop points and let Rangers back in it. I think it had come just after Valencia beat us at Parkhead. So it I was. was yep, a, that was on the Thursday. Yep. There was a frustration there so as there was, well. And like on the way to the game everybody was a bit concerned because this was a good Kilmarnock team ended up finished third in the league yeah. and we'd struggled against them like under Rodgers all the time apart from at home. I think we beat them 5 or 5 1. Yeah. But I mean, the scenes with a very strange goal where had Brown took a sort of pot shot for the edge of the box that deflected off with Alec Bruce, Alex his Bruce, hand. his hand, and then like went in the net. And Brown, of course, ran into the crowd sent off. and got sent off. But it was just brilliant, mate. Brilliant scenes. I mean, you don't get that that much. I mean, if it happens again on Wednesday, which hopefully it's an easier game, but if that happened on Wednesday, I think it'd be similar. Yeah. But because we're, that was a sort of close-ish title race, yeah. and we were coming on the back, yeah, a poor result, it meant a huge relief. And uh, that's one of the best wins, if not, not best performance, but best wins that I've in recent years. Yeah. No, I, I loved that game. As I say, I, was, I had my reporting hat on. I had a... <laughs> A bit of a, well, I was trying to, you know, not celebrate the goal uh, too much, but a bit of a run in with Brendan Rodgers that day as well. I'll, uh, I'll tell the story for the, the camera. I'm, I'm in the, the press room after the game. Brendan Rodgers is, is doing his interview mm. and he's asked the first question, um, you know, what did you think of the game or whatever? And he happens, he's kind of looking in his eye line and he happens to, I don't know why he was looking here, but he catches the fly of my trousers. 
and it's open. Oh dear. So he stops, and we'll need to find the audio for this, and I can right. embarrass myself totally. But he stops his first answer halfway through and goes in his Northern Irish accent, oh, could you just uh, zip up your fly, please? And I have never yeah. been more mortified in my life. There's a full room of journalists. Did they just turn their heads and look at you? Everyone just looked at me. I was just like, I think I just said, like, oh, sorry, Brendan, or something like that. <laughs> I was just honestly the most, I'm still probably bright red from it. And then uh, about a week later, he leaves for, for Leicester. So was I the reason he left and went down perhaps south? Perhaps so, perhaps maybe, so. I don't even know why he was looking down there anyway, but Very somebody wants to tell us maybe. But anyway, <laughs> um, that may swing this game. I'm just realising we've taken about five minutes talking about one game. We've oh, well, it was, a, it was a big game though. Let's rattle through him. I'll, I'll just quickly go through another one we scored last minute to win 1-0. Um, similar kind of scenes to Scott Brown and a similar oh, result yeah, in terms yeah. of it won the league. Tom Rogic game, I think two years, three years earlier. 2006. 16, I think. Yes, it was. Brilliant goal. Everyone, you know, you can just picture it in your mind. Um, he cuts inside, uh, oh, slice it into the his left foot. It was an absolute scotcher. Uh, Probably, I mean, don't get me wrong, his, his Aberdeen Cup final winner is a bigger goal, but oh, in right. terms of good goal, oh, in no. terms of the best goal he scored, it's what about probably... that one at Ibrox? I think the one at Kelly's better mm. in terms of like a pure goal, uh, but right. that was excellent. Another um, game Bobby played very, very similar, weren't they, those two? So and you, again, everybody was, I wasn't at that one, but another one where everybody was sort of getting in a, a panic, having yeah. drawn points, but we won it again. That was it. Um, an obvious one that it's very, you know, the opposite side of the scale from a 1-0 was the 6-0 win in 2012 that brought around a league title, worth remembering the first of our league titles. First we're, we're still mm-hmm. in that run, which just kind of, that game just seems so long ago, and I'm sure if you looked at the team, you know, you'd have the likes of... I Len remember, Leuven scored. Leuven scored. I remember Twardzik came on. Twardzik came on and set up a goal. Kelvin Wilson was, yeah, playing. Wilson was playing. It's, it's just it's crazy how, how much it's changed. Charlie McGrew. He, he played amazing scored. that day. But, but that day we had three stands at Rugby Park. Yep. Probably about, you know, 13,000 Celtic fans. And it, the atmosphere was amazing. We won so convincingly. And it was obviously Neil Lennon's first title. So for me, that's got to be in there as well. Another good one where we won the league was 2007... Naka. When Naka scored a classic free kick again in the last minute, it seems to be a recurring theme. Last minute wins at uh, Kilmarnock. Again, another one where we'd struggled, and a couple of minutes before it, Derek Wilden, remember him, blazed one over on the penalty box when he really should have buried it. Uh, see, the thing that gets me about that Nakamura goal is see the exact same season. Yep. He scored the exact record he did. of it You're earlier right. on at Rugby Park. He did. Exact same spot. Exact same way he did it. Same I think he scored a free kick against him the season before as well. He did, he did. That was a brilliant goal Aye. as well. So uh, the scenes after that were brilliant as well. John Kennedy played that day. Did he? I think that was his first game back. His first start, I think, right. since he got injured. So that's another memorable moment again. But I mean, there's been other ones as well. Not, again, we better mention, because we mentioned at the start, is of course, earlier in the season, we won 6 not in the 3 each draw. Mm. Which, in a way, I suppose defines Neil Lennon's career Celtic manager. He's, he said himself that he would have been out the door had, had the game finished, we you know, 3 0. 3 0 down at half time, we were just pathetic, basically. Nah, I mean, just a horrendous performance. And then Anthony Stokes and James Forrest sort of took the game with a scruff of the neck. They're the two that always get mentioned. The thing I, I always say, and, and don't get me wrong, Stokes was amazing. I think he scores a free kick and then he scores a great goal. But the thing, Folk forget, and I was at the game in the first half. Anthony Stokes misses he must have sat one on of the right, worst yeah. sitters I have ever seen. I think it's Chad Uri crosses it for him, yeah. and he's literally on the goal line and he scoops it over the bar. Right, and yeah. I don't think we were awful that day, but I think if Stokes scores that in the first place, I think we win the game. But should remember and all that Kelly had missed a sitter and all after we go to the beach. Uh, Heffernan, Heffernan, aye. Aye. he did it at the bar. I right, when it's just scored. Was it M- Mostorovich? Was it a scored equaliser or Mogru? Mogru, Mogru, and Mostorovich set it up. Aye. It was just a, what, what a day. Like it, it's the one we didn't win on this list, but I think it's got to be in the top five because it was just an amazing day. And the same day, Rangers dropped points against Mirren, I think. Yeah, last minute. They so uh, that's, and then we went on some like a 20 match on being run or something. Something crazy. Just a wee honourable mention. It's nothing that's going to make the list at all. I remember a game, 2015 it was. It was a Monday night game under Ronnie Dyler. Um, as Aguirre and Skepovic scored, we won 2 0 at Rugby Park. It's probably not one that. I don't brings... remember that at ah, all. Exactly. So that, that's probably why how unmemorable it was. Um, I remember one for Ronnie's time when Chris Coleman scored a hat trick. And that was a know. Friday night. Aye. Aye. But uh, this one I remember for some reason because Skepovic scored and he ran into the fans. Um, I remember when we won 5 2 when Amido Baldi scored. It's, I think Sam has scored a hat trick. Uh, it's an amazing, it's a, some amazing memories for that stadium. Right, give us a top five then. 
Right, but in descending order, I suppose. Yeah. Right, uh, number five. Uh, What's got to be in there, first of all? Oh, three, okay. three three's got to be in three, there. Three three. One nil last season. Rogic one nil. Rogic one nil. The six nil we won the league, and I suppose Nako won the league. Yeah, so what's your number? Give us your number one then. All right, the best at all of them. Uh, what one, you know, makes the hair? Probably Brown, because I was there. I don't think I was at any of the other. But is that you've you been, you know, recency biased because it was last year? Well, okay, I'll say the the six nothing because six because it was an, em, an emotional day. Easter uh, Sunday or Easter Saturday, Saturday, I think it was. Uh, right? Aye, I mean, it was great to see us finally win the league again after a few years. Uh, Lennon deserved it because of the flack he got the year before. And the grief. So that's small, number one. The small tinge about that was that that year for me we should have won the league at Ibrox, and no, we also no, should have won um, the league cup against the same opposition. Of course, the beat is a month before. That's right. So, so that adds an extra bit. But that that day, just in isolation, was an amazing performance. Mm-hmm. Everyone played out their skin. Charlie, Charlie McGrew got most of the credit. I think he was involved in four of the goals. He scored a couple. But for me, that day, if I think back to, to great Celtic days. The atmosphere that day, the celebrations, winning the league for the first time. We've got to remember in about four years, three or four years, because Rangers had won three in a row. I think four, four, four years uh, it would be. Uh, um, amazing. That's number one for me. That's number one. Uh, maybe put Brown at number two, because it's most recent. Oh, we don't need to rank those. We've got uh, number one, okay, Johnny. Okay, if you okay, want to do okay, that, that's okay. fine. Um, we will ask you, though, at home, if you've got um, anything we've missed out, maybe an amazing memory, maybe just a wee, you know, an an unknown memory from Rugby Park, a, yep. a memory about a pie or something like that, because they do have amazing pies at Rugby I remember, Park. I just remember they scored a brilliant goal, Sam and header, like 25 passes or something. Yep. 3-0 game I think game, it was yeah. amazing Madam Matthews yeah right. memories like that give us them as well um, and let us know your number one as well and also give us your thoughts if you're not already this week ahead of the game on Wednesday night and how you think we'll get on 